That's insane. My gas tank is doing a delete right now. Stop, stop. Ooh. Ooh. Yo, it's leaking. We're back off-roading and I'm so happy. We got an epic lineup today. Also, really quickly, want to say thank you guys so much for 6K. Even though it's small, it's bigger than I'd ever imagined it would be. So I want to thank you all for that and enjoy the video. We're just cruising down a little rock bed here, getting down towards Tank Trap. This TJ in front of me is just sick though. So love watching the wheels and the articulation on it. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. Just keep the keep this way. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You you got through it. Yeah. Okay, we'll back up a bit. You can back up a bit and bump it forward. You can straighten out too now. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, you're on that stump. Woo! Yep. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that was awesome. It's leaking. What? Yeah, it's can leaking. Out yeah, it's re leaking. nothing <laughs> see this is why you support your your build <laughs> let me just double check that Holy yeah shit. this the frame is, is okay, oh, okay. Shit. yeah the bolt the, the bolt went through the um yeah, overflow course, reservoir yeah. so not the actual rat no, no. so we should be fine uh more driver more driver yeah Nice. Oh yeah. Oh. oh. A little bump. Wow. Yo, are you filming me, dude, without my permission? So guys, in that video clip you saw where I was leaking, we all freaked out. We thought it was the rad overflow but it was actually my washer fluid. So that's best case Ontario there. And as you saw, my whole bumper moved forward and my shackle fell off. I, I know I welded that poorly. So I never I never used it to pull from obviously because it snapped by a root on a tree. But yeah, all good. Just the washer fluid, the bumpers moved back. So I gotta be careful anymore and it's going through my grill. I wanted to go a little further before I backed up, but it was just too far forward, smoked the tree, bent everything. And I have a body lift, so it's just, those body lift brackets, you need to reinforce them if you want to put a winch on it or even pull from the bumper. My bumper's up above the frame, so it doesn't take much to kind of bend it, which sucks, but we'll just reinforce it. We'll get that all figured out another time. <laughs> Butter. Mirror, actually. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Can you get through there too? Wow. Nice. You're, you're just at the bumper. 
at the bottom of the bumper. What's up? Okay, you're you're at your pod light in your bumper on this side. Oh, you're good. It's not getting deeper. Woo! Not quite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you need more speed than that. It is doable. Yeah, it's, it, it's doable. Sure. He's got to fly. Whoa! Such a big rut in the middle. Does he have 35s? Oh, look at that. Oh, he's gone. Oh! That's so close. Oh my gosh. Brandon, you got it! Like the one that was falling down, he stood it up. Dude, I'm replanting Mother Nature as I go. <laughs> I like to show you this angle because it shows you what I can see during these clips. And as you can see, it's very difficult to get any view outside the window. The truck's big, it's pointed in the air, there's mud all over it. The vision is very limited. Obviously, in this circumstance, all I needed to do was just pin it and go straight. And I was so excited I was able to get out of this pit. We just made it out of that mud pit. That was so epic. I could not see anything in here. As you saw, we lost our wiper fluid. So now I gotta get out once we're through here and manually pour it on and clean off my window. But something's definitely stuck in the brakes right now, the rear brakes. But I'm really happy with that section. That was so cool. Truck looks like a beast through there. Big ram. All right guys, you can see an obvious problem here. I, I felt something dragging. I thought it was something in my brakes. But then I got, I was like, why does my drive shaft feel like it's something's hitting it? My gas tank is doing a delete right now by itself. So I got to back up, hoist this thing back up. Hopefully I'm not leaking gas though. That's the only thing. But I think we saved it just in time before I completely ripped it out. We've been taking a beating today, guys. We got a new dent, which I'm not sure where from, honestly. Our bumper got pushed back. My fuel tank's hanging. Who knows what else? That's the only stuff I can see. My shackle deleted, my washer fluid deleted. This is pure carnage today. But guys, this is what it's all about. I mean, I like pushing this thing and sometimes it backfires a bit. We also, guys, we made a tree stand up. I don't know if anybody's ever done that before, but it literally, I got out of that mud pit and the tree stood up and scratched my door. There was no tree there before. And then I propped it up and it went right down the side. It's looking like, oh geez, that's heavy. Um, the strap is bent and popped out, hitting the drive shaft. So hopefully I can pop that back up. It doesn't look broken. It just looks bent. And that'll that'll keep it up when I tighten it, and it'll pull it away from the drive shaft. Hey Mike, this is the second time we had to fix something with Brandon, eh? Yeah, it's all good, man. Yeah, well tomorrow for sure I'll chill again. No gym. <laughs> Thank you. Don't good thing need you gym. didn't fill it up, man. Yeah. Okay, ready? Are you tightening it up? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's more like it. How's that? Yeah. Oh boy! Dude, we don't even need to get a new strap. Oh. Like actually. <laughs> Dude, that's higher up than it was before. <laughs> okay, guys, so as you can see, 
we got the tank back up. We took one of Mikey's ratchet straps, just strapped it up. My strap is ripped out of the frame. So the frame is given away. It just got yanked out. So it, even if I get a new one, it won't be able to go back in its same spot. So we might just be rocking our ratchet strap from now on. Drop the strap. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, that's insane. That's a little bit of travel, eh? Oh my gosh. That's wicked. Wow. Just stay this side if you can, just a little. Yeah. Oh, easy. Watch that side. <laughs> it's pretty sloppy, dude. You don't really have much of a choice because you're in the ruts, right? But try to go straighter. Yeah, yeah. Woo! <laughs> it's rain and mud, dude. There it is. How's his? How's he doing there? Is he close to the sticks or? Okay. Oh! If the strap falls, I just put a new strap on. <laughs> nice entry. Oh yeah, I got some mud on the bumper too. Hey, watch that side, eh? There we go. Yeah, yeah. I'll follow it in. Hey. I told you, dude. Yeah, you're in the line. You're in the line. Yeah, you got it. Holy. Yeah, beauty. Passenger, bro. Passenger. Oh, there you go. You took a bit of the sidewall like me, man. Good job. Alright, we're in. Slider. Descend it from the other side. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Back it up. Hey, full driver, sorry. Yeah. No, wait. Back it up. No, you might be too tight there, bro. Yeah, like almost in the wall, bro. Like Lightning McQueen, bro. Yo, listen, like that angle, like you're almost touching your door kind of thing, you know, in the slider. So if you, you really got to climb that wall and then go. Yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, beauty, beauty, beauty. Back it up. That's it, bro. I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro. It's not gonna fit. It's not gonna fit. No, it's not gonna fit. No, like your slider already touched the wall and like. Yeah, it's not gonna fit, bro. Here's a few marks from that route there. It just being a full size truck, it's just too tight in some spots. Like that one wasn't doable. And if I managed to ride the wall and then dropped in, I would be destroying the whole side. So like I kind of thought about it, but is it really worth it? I don't know. So but yeah, we, we backed out of that one, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Wide truck. All drivers, all drivers. Yeah. Driver, keep driver, keep driver the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. Driver, driver, driver. Nice. Yeah, it'll take you around. Oh. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Jesus Christ. Oh. Just met up with a bunch of bunch of Chevy ZR2s, man. They're insane. They look so good. One of them sent it in the same spot Mikey did, but I think it's a little bit wider, so he ended up actually damaging the side of his vehicle. But he's totally fine, and he knows he built it for that, so that's pretty cool. Good mentality to have out here, because obviously stuff's gonna happen. 
So we're gonna keep going. We're just, we hung out for a bit there, ate some food, relaxed for a bit, and now we're gonna head up the other side, all the way back up to the FSR. There's a few more trails. Woo! Yeah. That's tight. Wow. Jeez. Nice. These new rigs look so good. We're packing it up, we're heading out, and that was a great day, a bunch of stuff done, just kind of messing around, having a good time, hanging out with people, it was really fun to get out again. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it, if you liked it, leave a thumbs up, gives me motivation to keep moving forward, make sure you guys check out G's video, check out Wild Fork Ranger, check out Rob as well, we're going to be doing more trips with him, he's an absolute beauty, and his rig's unreal, you guys see that flexing section, was crazy. Thanks guys so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Uh -huh.